Okay. Um, I don't normally trade Mondays, as you guys know, but I always have a look just to see. And there does seem to be some really nice clean setups uh, for USD, Swiss, EU, and GU. So I have a pending here. Um, I have a pending. So hopefully, you know, we've got breaker structures coming back. So maybe we get a test of support and maybe push the upside. Basically, the exact opposite for EU and the exact opposite for GU. So maybe we get some trades today. Maybe not. Who knows? But yeah, hopefully um, it goes well. And hopefully we get some trades, but only time will tell. Um, but yeah, not that far away. I mean, probably about 15 pips away from triggering me in, if it does trigger me in. But if we have a look at the news coming out today. It is a bank holiday for the US dollar. So it's going to be dead this afternoon. Um, I can't see a lot of movement, but the movement during London is really good. So it might trigger during London and then hesitate all, all afternoon, which is the only downside. Uh, but let's just see what's out for the rest of the week. So Tuesday's not great. We do have FOMC, but it's not that bad. Wednesday can be quite volatile. Thursday will definitely be volatile. USD CPI data coming out. Um, but yeah, so Wednesday, Thursday seems to be the most volatile days. But again, hopefully if Monday and Tuesday go well, then I don't have to trade Wednesday, Thursday. But We'll see. Again, my target is only 1% to 2% a month. I mean, a week. So, we'll see what happens. Okay, so I have been triggered into EU. If I look at the DXY, I'm expecting uh, the DXY to retrace a little bit more. So, potentially, I can't trade DXY. I'm just doing a markup anyway. But I am potentially thinking that, obviously, if DU pushes down a little bit, then EU potentially will push up a little bit for maybe a deeper drawdown. Um, maybe to my uh, markup area here of where I think price could retest. It might not. It might just sell off, which is fine. But that's potentially what I'm thinking. And obviously, if the DXY pushes down a little bit, then I'm expecting USD Swissy to push down a little bit also. So potentially, we could get triggered in this. Um, also, but GU is still quite far away. It's like the lagging out of the, out of the free pairs. But I can't even tell. I have an alarm up here when it gets close, but we'll have to wait and see. But yeah, so, so far, I've been triggered into EU. Well, I'm not on this account, but my other account I have. So if this triggers, great. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But <laughs> just shows you the difference between the brokerages, spreads, and also uh, data feed. But we'll see. Okay, so I have been triggered into USD Swissy right now. It's just above break even, so... Nothing special just yet. EU's doing a lot better. Um, I'm in EU and I have scaled in EU. So it's near TP1. The first position is in profit or slightly in profit. So call it break even. Um, it's only got about five pips to go. If it breaks this low, then that'd be great. Um, and then how many pips is it away from the actual TP at the moment? I'm um, looking at roughly 10 pips. So if EU can drop 10 pips, then that will be 1.5% gain on EU. That'd be great. When this takes out the first TP, then this position will be moving to break even as well. So that'd be nice. Um, potentially, depending on what USD Swissy does at the moment, I may be able to scale in, but I need to see more proof first. Um, so if I can get a win on this and the second win, and I'll see my two wins on EU, then that will be 3% for the day, which is fabulous. Um, and GU just buggered off and ran away and left me alone. Never came up. So it is what it is. Uh, GU no go, but EU and USD Swissy is going well. But yeah, I'll keep you updated on, on what happens. Okay, so quick update. I have closed the USD Swissy, so I made for a, well, I didn't make anything. I made a small a loss, um, just under probably like zero point four, four five percent. So call it zero point five percent with commission. Um, I am still in Euro USD. Price has come back to break even. My stop loss, as I said, is in profit on this one. So, you know, if this doesn't work out, then it is what it is. 
um, it won't be a massive loss. It will just be a very small loss on EURUSD. Um, and GU, as you can see, is doing great, even though I'm not in it. But, you know, if I was, it would have been fantastic. Never happened. So I can see this going to the downside. It has made liquidity to the downside. So I am expecting that push. If you have a look at the DXY, I did this markup. It looked like it was working great. Obviously, in this position right now, if I could trade it, it will be at break even. But I'm expecting a slight pullback to a push up. Obviously, this pullback caused USD Swissy to completely collapse. So it's just one of them things. And obviously, it's causing a retracement on EU to push up. But I got confidence in EU because GU hasn't pushed up at all yet. But again, EU is very tolerated with DXY. So if the DXY keeps pushing down, then EU will keep pushing up. And we might get a, a small loss out of these trades. But again, I'm not bothered. It meets my plan. I'm just going to continue swinging and see what happens. But yeah, so that's the update at the moment. If I look at this, you can see uh, USD Swissy is gone. If I look at the account history for the day, you see at the bottom, uh, minus uh, zero, uh, minus 44, so technically down 0.44%, which is fine. It's nothing really. So really, I am just sat in Euro USD. It's either going to win or it's not. Whatever happens, happens. All right. Um, it's near um stop loss. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna exit this now and just take a small win and a, a slightly small loss. Um on this account as well. Um, that's it, that's today done. Um, not great. I think collectively maybe minus one percent. So let's just add this up. I call that 26. Actually, no. 26 plus 45, roughly what it was. So minus 13. So I'm down 0.58% for Monday. So that's fine. It is what it is. Come back tomorrow. See what's popping. But yeah, that's that's me done. I'm out.